No, that's not. I'm not saying that. I don't think it is. So, you, I, you, I think you're doing it because one, you really don't want to take do what have what you have to do to take care of your hair. That's true. So today I'm gonna be preparing for a day of Simon. As you guys know, my or I mentioned a few different times, my grandmother passed away in December. So. Um, it's May and I'm just now going to get her ashes. Good morning guys. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is Tuesday, May 18th and I am up in Adam. It's almost 9 o'clock, I think, or just a little after 9. <laughs> That was sound that sounds really nasty. Um, I wanted to say good morning to you guys because I'm up in Adam because I have a grocery order coming in just a second. And then after that, we're gonna head out and get some stuff for um well, I want to just go get some curry, some curry goat, some goat to make curry goat. Um so I'm not sure if I'm going to be making it for the weekend for another Sabbath weekend, not this one coming up, or we're going to make it for tomorrow, which is Day of Simon. So today I'm going to be preparing for Day of Simon. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't know, Day of Simon is a high holy day. Um, it's not a feast day, but it's a high holy day. Um, and the scripture, I'll put it on the screen because I don't want to, well, I'm going to murder the scripture because I can never rem remember them verbatim, but it basically says that we should celebrate this, um, holiday, not holiday, high holy day, um, forever with gladness. So, um, I mean... It's a day of re remembrance. It's not like an extreme ho high holy day. I keep saying holiday. I hate that. Um, high holy day like Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread and um, Feast of Lights. It's not like a high holy day like that or feast day, but it is a day of remembrance. So we're going to observe it. Um, so we're not going to do anything major. We're going to have dinner around the table. <clears throat> have our holy convocation talk about the scripture talk about what the high holy day means with us and the kids have you know some constructive israelite discussion and today i'm just basically trying to figure out um what i'm gonna make and all that good stuff and just tidying a little bit because the house is pretty clean honestly um, but yeah, I wanted to say good morning to you guys. How have you guys been? How are you guys doing? Um, I just uploaded a video. Um, it's like a sit down video, very relaxed, very not put, put together. Like most of my sit down videos would be just like me talking to you guys, like as if you were one of my girls or one of my dudes and just having yo like what's up let me let me tell you what happened let me tell you what happened yo like that type of <laughs> vibe so if you like those type of videos please let me know because i will continue to make them because it was kind of fun to make and it was also just so relaxed and chill that i really enjoyed it but um a couple of you guys said that you would want to see me do a live um so I am going to try to do one. I will let you guys know when. Um, I don't know what I would be talking about in the live, so give me a topic and I will work that out. Um, I'm like getting shy just thinking about it, but I definitely want to do it because, you know, I want to communicate with you guys. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> Converse with you guys and all that jazz. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me some coffee and I will see you guys in a little bit. What did you say? Handsome man. What did you say? Handsome man. Did you break it? Handsome man. Did you break it? Man, see, you just mad because I don't mess with you about your hair. No, it's not nice. There you are. I'm trying to get a picture off about it, right? No, you just keep bringing it up and I'm like, okay, daddy. Say, you only need to start telling, I mean, teach you, I need to start telling the truth. A what? I said, you need to start telling the truth. He said, he basically said, we put fake hand on head because we hit ourselves. No, I'm not saying you do it because it's so. I'm saying that. That's what you said upstairs. No, that's not. I'm not saying that. I don't think it's so. 
you, I, you, I think y'all doing it because one, y'all really don't want to take do what it have, what you have to do to take care of here. That's true. I, I'm thinking uh, part two, uh, part two. Another reason I think y'all doing it is because you mean? you're okay. so used to just being able to look different any day of the week that you want, and they have all these different styles and look this way and that way, and have your hair up and down, and have it, and then also to have your hair long, longer than it naturally is. I think all those things. And <clears throat> y'all keep talking about, oh, it's a protective style and all this other stuff. Mm. So just keep doing what you do. Because at what point, like, Tisha, you're, you're 30, uh, 36 now, right? No. <clears throat> 37. Just on 37. And how long, I mean, what, is she going to be doing until she's 80? Yeah. She's going to be protecting her until she's 80? Well, That's right. where's the fruits of it? Because... <laughs> <clears throat> your hair grew, well, and then I mean, what you did, you cut it. So all the, all the, all putting all that shit in your head, braiding it up, all this plastic that comes from God knows where, that you gotta then put in soak in vinegar just before you could actually put it into your head. Well, you have to do that to anything, Because everything, what? nothing, every, just like you get something from the store. Yeah, but you don't have to take plastic and put it <laughs> in your hair. You literally have plastic braided mm -hmm. into your hair, and you're using plastic as hair. That's what mm -hmm. you literally don't. And you're defending it on the basis of it protecting you and helping you to grow. But then when you hit grows, so you cut it off. Why are you? Okay, that's her. Supposed to do well, I mean, she's the model for you, ain't it? No, ain't she? she's not the model for me. Oh, she's not. Uh, excuse you. No, not like that. I'm not saying. Well, I don't. That. I don't. I don't base explain myself that, off of what you do. That's explain not. that. Wow. No. Explain that. Explain it. Explain what? How the braids is so called protective so your hair can grow, and then when your hair grow, you cut all the way back off. That's because I'm bipolar, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bipolar. So, can I set my hair on? Because that is. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, guys, I'm in Kroger. We just left Walmart a little, bit, a little while ago. Um, I'm in Kroger now getting some eggs because they weren't in my grocery order this morning so I assume they do have them but I hope they didn't charge me for them I have to check when I get home but I love this program it's like a really nice one it's really big too but I can't shop so let's just part and talk to you guys at the same time so I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna get some of these groceries You guys wouldn't know how long I've been in the car, but we've been out for quite some time now. Um, we've been kind of running around. <clears throat> As you guys know, my or I mentioned a few different times, my grandmother passed away in December, so um, it's May, and I'm just now going to get her ashes. Um, it's just been a lot of stuff going on, and I'm not going to get into it, um, but. I went to get her ashes and they're, they called me on the phone and said it was they were basically ready for me to pick up the ashes and I get there and they're like, oh, we're waiting for one more piece of documentation to be filled out and I went over there for no reason, but it's fine. My husband got some um, Caribbean food, some Jamaican cuisine. Um, and then he's at another Jamaican place because we're, we had a place that we would get food from, but they have been putting, um, I don't know if you've ever eaten from a Caribbean restaurant, but basically they have these like dishes, these big, um, stainless steel dishes that they put the food in and they obviously put it in a water bath to keep it warm all day, but they have been putting saran wrap 
in the stainless steel dishes and then having it sit in that hot water all day and that is just it ain't cool all that plastic is like basically just leaching into the food all day so we don't eat there no more so we're in the market for a new place to go get some um, of our Jamaican food at so my husband is basically trying two different places I however am not in the mood for Jamaican food um, what I would eat if I did get something right now is some oxtail but I'm just not in the mood for that I'm honestly I I just want a burger and I know that's bad I should not be eating a burger but I just really love burgers and we're gonna get the kids something to eat so I'm gonna get me a burger y'all sandwiches and burgers are like my favorite food because anything smacked but between two pieces of bread my favorite and yeah so that's what I'm gonna get a burger yes I know sis you could just tell me so you could say it sis you don't need to be eating no burger I like you we trying to be healthy out here in these streets and you up here eating burgers and shit I'm sorry but I just really want a burger forgive me but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab me a burger and grab the kids some burgers um, that way I don't have to worry about lunch for them it's way past lunch time for these chickadees it's 140 it's like way past lunch time but that will hold them till dinner I'm um, going to make ramen well the kids are going to make ramen for dinner and then I'm just gonna make my husband a piece of lamb as always the man or he, you know what I may not even have to make him dinner because he might have leftovers from his food but we shall see um, we started watching Lupin last night it, it's pretty decent I typically it's on Netflix it's one of those um, shows that has um, subtitles because it's actually the cast actually speaks a different language I think it's French if I'm not mistaken yeah I think it's French um, but they put the English subtitles at the bottom it, do they put English upside? No, no, it's not the subtitles. They do the voiceover in English. Um, and I typically... It's not that I don't like those shows because there's another show that I watched with my husband. Me and my husband watched it and it was really, really good. It was like a bank robbery show. I can't remember the name right now. I'll put it on the screen. But, um... So it's not that I necessarily don't like those shows. It's just that... By the time 6 o'clock hits, I've said this a million times on my channel, my brain starts to shut down and I'm like in the mood to relax. So usually those shows will have subtitles on them. It, this one does it and the one that I'm talking about that was really good didn't. But usually they have subtitles on them. And I ain't in the mood to read no damn subtitles when I'm trying to relax. So I typically don't go for those shows. Uh, because when I'm trying to relax, I'm not trying to do nothing but relax. But this seems to be really good. It's another like, um, not bank robbery, but like robbery type movie. Like heist type movie. That's the word I'm looking for. My husband loves him a good heist movie. Um, he loved that Ben Affleck heist movie. I forgot the name of it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, he loved the one, The Takeover, I don't think that's the name of it, but with Idris Elba, I think Chris Brown was in it, um, the dude with the blue eyes, Michael Ely, is that his name? Y'all, my husband loves him a good heist, um, movie or show, so we're gonna watch that. We've been watching them. But my husband says that he has to be in the mood, mood to watch that because it kind of messes with his spirit. So I, I understand that. So we're probably going to watch that tonight. But when I get home, I am going to eat my burger and relax. And I'm going to watch a documentary. Um, I watched um, Who Killed Garrett? Garrett something. Um, Garrett Phillips who killed Garrett Phillips um that was really good um I talked about that in my last video um and I just finished watching the case against or the people against Adnan Syed 
I think it's the case against um, Adnan Syed. They are HBO documentaries. So I've been watching a lot of documentaries, y'all. I'm a nerd at heart. Your girl loves her a good documentary. Like, I could literally just sit and watch documentaries all day. It's just, I don't know. My husband can, like, watch YouTube all day and get a whole bunch of knowledge and stuff like that. And I like... I kind of like the same thing, but I like my documentaries because they're always, um, I don't know, done in a way where it's very um, cinematic or whatever you want to call it. So um, I'm really enjoying, um, this guy's looking at me crazy because he's like, who is she talking to? Um, I'm really enjoying that right now, but yeah nothing's going on here as i said earlier on today we're going to be observing day of simon tomorrow so i'm probably going to continue this vlog tomorrow i don't think i'm going to be having anything going on today other than like i said going i gotta go home and um do some like prep work because i have like some fruits and vegetables i need to wash and things like that and um then i'm probably just going to chill out for the rest of the day and not do anything and but I do need to figure out what I'm gonna cook I'm kind of leaning towards barbecue chicken even though I'm not really trying to eat meat but because it's a high holy day I figure you know I'd make something really good something that I know the kids will eat and be like satisfied with um so I'm leaning towards barbecue chicken but I, I don't know guys so we shall see but I'm gonna let you guys uh, go because I've been talking for eight minutes now. Um, but I will see you guys in a little bit. Deuces. And I'm sitting outside of Johnny's New York style pizza. And Johnny's ain't got no New York style pizza. Let me just tell y'all that right now. False advertisement. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Good morning guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is Wednesday, May 19th. It is day of Simon. Um, so I'm in the spirit and feeling good. Uh, I feel a little bit tired this morning, but not like how I used to feel, which was like beat up and shit in the morning. But um, I have no idea what I'm gonna cook today for day of Simon. Um, I forgot to tell my kids not to put certain meat in the freezer. So they put everything in the freezer. So if I make meat, I'm going to have to defrost it. So I'm hoping to, excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm hoping to find a meatless meal that everyone can enjoy. Um, because I really, one, I really don't want to have to cook meat, to be honest. Um, and two, again, the issue with me freezing the meat. So I'm gonna sit here and brainstorm a little bit, have my coffee, let me put my earrings on. And that's it, like nothing's going on here right now. My kitchen is a disaster. And that's because my daughter wasn't feeling well last night. So she asked me if, I, if she could clean, if I could clean the kitchen in the morning for her. Cause she has school and stuff. Um, so I said, yeah, but I'm kinda, regretting that decision because the kitchen is a disaster but i guess i'm gonna chill out for a little bit brainstorm get a little bit of things done um i need to order a camera bag for the new camera um and i want to get a microphone for it and a light to go on top so i need to do a little bit of research on that and figure out again when I make it for dinner so when I figure out all of that stuff I will get back with you guys but I hope you guys have are having an amazing day an amazing day of Simon um and I wish you guys all the best and all praises to the most high I'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys so I am in the process of cooking but I finished up some stuff so here I have a pasta salad that I made and it has vegan mayo um, Italian salad dressing some onion some meninzula olives some 
celery salt, black pepper, um, and what's the last thing? Orange bell pepper in it. So I have that in the fridge, cooling down. I also made some roasted carrots. I seasoned it with salt, pepper, um, drizzled with avocado oil, and then some drizzle, a drizzle of honey, and then just pretty much the same thing with the asparagus. I drizzled it with av avocado oil, salt and pepper, and then when it came out the oven, I squeezed some fresh lemon on it. So that's that. And then I have the chicken seasoned up here. Um, so I'm gonna let it season up for a few hours and then I'm gonna make a barbecue sauce to go over it and I'm gonna put it in the oven. And I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, I made a green juice. Let's see right there. Um, I used the suja um, juice and then I um, blended up some kale, cucumber, pineapple, I think that was it. Yeah, I blended that up, ju um, juiced it. Um, and then what else did I do? I uh, squeezed some fresh lemon in there. Oh, I did garlic as well. Not garlic, ginger. Y'all, I can't talk today. Ginger and what else? Oh, and I put some chlorophyll, some spirulina, and some wheatgrass powder. So, that is that. I am tired. Um, so, I'm going to go upstairs and chill out for a little bit. And then I will catch you guys in a little bit when I'm cooking the um, barbecue chicken. I'll show you guys the finished product on that and then we're going to eat around the table later and have our holy convocation. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you, again, I hope you guys are having a great day of Sam. I keep saying Samuel, y'all, I cannot talk. I think I'm just tired. Day of Simon. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Something right